Hello and welcome to all our wonderful viewers. Today we have a delicious and special recipe for Sable cookies. If you're watching us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and share the video with your friends. Let's get started with this delightful recipe. Firstly, in a large bowl, we'll add a pinch of salt and mix 500 grams of softened butter with one cup of powdered sugar until we get a creamy and smooth mixture. Then, we'll add two eggs, one at a time, continuing to mix until the eggs are fully incorporated into the mixture. We'll add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and grated lemon zest, mixing again until all the ingredients are well combined giving us a fragrant and delicious mixture. Now, we'll gradually add six cups of flour along with three teaspoons of baking powder. We'll add the flour gradually until we achieve a smooth and cohesive dough. It's important to knead until all the ingredients are well combined. Once we have a cohesive dough, we'll cover it with plastic wrap and let it rest in the refrigerator for half an hour to make it easier to shape. After the dough has rested, we'll take it out of the refrigerator and roll it out on a floured surface using a rolling pin. We'll try to roll it evenly to about half a centimeter thick so that all the pieces bake evenly. We can use round cookie cutters or any shapes you prefer to cut the dough into fun and enjoyable shapes for both kids and adults. We'll arrange the shapes on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper making sure to leave some space between each piece so they don't stick together during baking. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake the cookies in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until they turn a light golden color. Make sure to keep an eye on the oven to prevent the cookies from burning. Once the sable cookies have completely cooled, we'll move on to the decorating stage. We can decorate them with cream, or sandwich two cookies together using strawberry jam or melted chocolate. Sprinkle some powdered sugar or grated nuts on top to give them a beautiful appearance and delicious taste. Additionally, crushed walnuts or almonds can be used for a wonderful decorative touch. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe and were able to follow the steps easily. If you try it and it turns out well, don't forget to share your comments and pictures of your results with us. Thank you for your continued support and viewership. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a positive comment, and share the video with your friends and loved ones. See you in the next video, and until then, goodbye.